Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Monday, September the 10th, 2012. We'll be looking at a few major markets here today, and I also advanced the stop on a couple of charts. I believe it was, uh, let's see, uh, well, the VIX, of course, and uh, the lock-in again there, and then also the Toronto Stock Exchange. Uh, just me personally, that's how I wanted to trade those. Um, I'll show you guys some what I'm thinking right now. Uh, we talked about this on Thursday. We told you, I think it was Thursday, told you after you had this major move here, uh, you had broken out above resistance point here. And different charts are going to show them different ways, and I'll draw them out for different scenarios for you. Uh, you've got this support here. You've also got this one here that was resistance. It's now acting as support. Now what we're talking about is seeing is a little bit of a pullback here heading into the Fed news that we have at the end of the week. Um, basically, there's a lot of news that's got there right now. You've got uh, you've got the Fed's coming at the end of the week. You have uh, the uh, inflation data. You have uh, the uh, German banks, what their opinion is going to be on whether or not they can uh, do anything. Uh, and then uh, the, we've had a few other items as well. I think you know, an Apple uh, new phone coming out, things like that. And that's not really a major important for the major markets. But what is important, I think the most important thing, will be the German uh, news there. If that news comes out and they say, you know what, Germany cannot help with the peripheral countries, uh, then they're not going to be allowed to, to bail out uh, the, anybody else, then we'll see this thing break down. Uh, otherwise, you won't see this break down. And this pullback here is going to be a buying opportunity. That's the only way I can see it playing out that it breaks down is if Germany comes out and says, oh, never mind, we're not going to be a part of this. In that scenario, you break down. Anything else, you move higher. That's all I see. Uh, the reason why the Fed isn't going to be a problem for this market is simply because they're, everybody's trying to stop this problem that we're seeing in Germany. If the Fed were to come out and say, okay, no more quantitative easing for you guys, you guys suck, or something of that nature, I'm not going to probably say it in those terminology, but uh, if he were to say something of that nature, you would simply fall apart. The market is addicted now to quantitative easing, and it needs it. And if it doesn't get it, well, it's going to be pretty upset, and it's going to sell off. Well, that would be counterproductive to what's going on over there in Europe, so they're not going to do that to them. Also, if we start to shrink even more, we're going to see uh, more uh, pressure put on the Eurozone, so they're not going to do that. Also, the Fed's been saying again and again, we stand by ready to act. We stand by ready to act. What are they waiting for? Signs that the economy is starting to uh, digress, right? Okay, well, you just saw the unemployment data came out. It was not good. It was actually starting to sh shift back in the uh, negative territory. Uh, when we see that kind of stuff, then we know that the Fed, if they're honestly saying they're going to act, if they're uh, giving reason to do so, well, then they now have reason to do so. So I would expect the Fed to either do something, uh, quantitative easing beginning, uh, or uh, say that we're prepared to act and we're going to do something really, really soon. They're going to give you something. They're not going to just tell you, no, you're cut off. That's not going to happen. So ultimately what happens is we pull back a little bit ahead of the Fed. We get the Fed news, and then we get a little bit of a lift to the upside. Also, you may get a lift to the upside if Germany comes out and says, yes, we're on board. We will help uh, you know the other nations that need help. If you see that kind of stuff, then this little pullback you're seeing here is nothing more than a buying opportunity. If you get taken out of the low, then the game's over. You stop the, your positions on the long side. You start looking for the short trades because you'll be sitting with a situation where you've got lower series of highs, lower series of lows at that time. Right now, we don't have that, but I'm just saying if we get to that point, then we'll change. But until then, we stay with the trend, and it is up. Looking now at the NASDAQ, the same overall story, rolling over, pulling back down. Previous resistance now going to be acting as support. We're just pulling back down to that point. Uh, we could also pull back down within this channel here. But again, this is my stop way down here. If we get stopped, then the game's over. Otherwise, just use it as a buying opportunity. Looking now at the Russell 2000 small cap index, this one I debated on whether or not to advance my stop on it. Stops down here. We had advanced it up here. I told you guys, I think it was yesterday, I mean, not yesterday, Friday, uh, that if you started to pull back here, I recognize it as just being a, a continuation of a bullish trend. You're, all you're doing is breaking out, pulling back down, find support upon previous resistance. That's bullish and so I wouldn't want to be stopped out of that so I took my stop that was here and moved it on down back to where I started with in case we do get a dip that far then I would want to be using it as a buying opportunity you don't want to be stopped out in a scenario it should be noted that this is how I am trading it somebody else may say you know what I'm just here looking for a trade I've made money to the upside here I'm gonna take my stop and I'm gonna move it all the way up here and lock myself in a little gain if that's your method of trading for the day go for it 
Looking at the SPX, or the S&P 500 large cap index, same overall story, same pullback scenario going on right here. This little trend right here, previous resistance, is going to be acting as support. Here's my stop set off of this low. If we get stopped out, then I'm out. Otherwise, I'd use this little pullback here as a buying opportunity. You're only probably going to get Tuesday. Tuesday's low may be the all-time low. Uh, not all-time, but uh, the, the lowest low you're going to get for the week. Because if Germany comes out and says, oh, yes, we're going to... Um, play ball here and we're going to um, uh, help bail out everybody uh, then you could see a reversal uh, on their markets uh, you know which are going to be open while ours are closed basically what I'm trying to say so in effect uh, Tuesday may be the bottom of this pullback I can't say for sure of course um, but that's something else that I'm trying to uh, deal with here is to, I typically like to see a pullback like this you get up here to a nice move you start to sell off roll over a little bit that's fine and then you want to see a hammer candlestick formation well, in this particular scenario, because of the timing, the news is coming out, you may get a scenario where you get down day, a down day, and then we just take off. Because by the time that we open up in the U.S., the news on Germany's opinion could already be out there, and we would just be trying to play catch up. That's why you may not get this hammer candlestick formation, and that's a little bit of a tricky little situation, because typically, again, the hammer candlestick makes it really obvious how to trade that. Uh, in this case, you're not going to have that, and then the only thing you are going to have is if you break the support, then the game's over. Otherwise, you want to use this little pullback here as a buying opportunity. Looking now at the Toronto Stock Exchange, TSX, you'll notice that I have advanced the stop on this one from what was once here is now way up here. Uh, locking in the gain on a couple positions just to make sure I've got some profit on the table no matter what happens. If I do get stopped out down the road, uh, I want to have some gains to offset those uh, small losses that I might have from commissions and so forth and so on. So that's why I'm doing that. Uh, it basically guarantees that I'll get stopped out though. I've got it so tight that just a little breathe at the downside and tomorrow's market activity will stop me out. Uh, I may get back in if I see a pullback, nice size pullback, something like that. And if, I, if for some reason I do get a hammer candlestick, some other reason, then I would get back involved. But uh, right now I'm just locking in some gains. I believe it was Friday I told you guys that I would close out my position on the VIX. So this morning you had that opportunity to do that. I didn't advance the stop on that. I, I just told you guys in the video, so you guys knew then. It might have been Thursday, but I think it was Friday. Uh, anyway, so uh, now you guys know you should, you're stopped out of the VIX already. You hopefully got out early this morning, made about, I don't know, 350 a share there. Uh, that's great. I'm now watching this to re-enter on the short side. If I can get another day like today, a backup here, something of that nature, then I would short but it, we'll have to wait and see if we actually get that kind of movement. But if we do, then I will be looking to go short again uh, because I don't believe that the market, the feds are, are going to just say, oh, never mind, you know, let the market fall. I don't think that's really going to happen. So I think right now people are getting uneasy about what may happen, but I really don't see it all falling apart. Not now, not just yet. If you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free and all we ask in return, please refer a friend aka share our videos online. Thank you very much. God bless. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.